Allison Okamura. I'm an associate professor in mechanical engineering and I run the Haptics Lab. The Haptics Lab is here in the Computational Science and Engineering Building at uh, the Homewood campus of Johns Hopkins University. So the Haptics Lab works on a lot of projects related to the sense of touch and robotics and medical applications. And the motivation for the needle steering project um, were some experiments we were doing where we were looking at the interactions between needles and tissues so that we could build a surgical simulator. But then we discovered that needles that had beveled tips were bending as you push them into tissue, something that uh, doctors have known for a long time. And then we realized that we could actually harness that bending in order to make uh, very dexterous steerable needles. The challenges in a project like this are that there are a number of different components that all need to be integrated and work very well. Uh, for example, you need an imaging system that can actually find needles in the images. You need to have a model of the tissues so that you can understand how they're going to deform when you put the needle in. You need to have a robotic control system that can actually make the needle go where you want it to. Uh, so each little component has its own challenge and then you get to put them all together. It involves a lot of face-to-face -face contact with researchers, not only people here at Hopkins and various departments, but also other schools. We get together through phone conferences, we meet weekly, and uh, we always try to stay on board of what our higher level goals are, no matter what the individual specific technical contributions of different people might be. You have to have um, students and collaborators that buy into not just the technical development of their individual component, but the fact that it needs to be part of this larger system. Needle tip is cut at an angle. Because of this, the cutting forces acting on the needle are asymmetric, causing the needle to bend. The two control inputs to the device are the needle insertion and the rotation of, of the base, which orients the needle tip. In the laboratory, we have a computer controlling the device and two cameras providing sensory information. In today's demonstration, we show a needle being steered to the goal, the dime here, while avoiding an obstacle, the dollar. The goal of this project is to provide a mechanism for shared control between the physician and a computer. So our hope is that you'll see a steerable needle in a hospital uh, in about five years. Uh, it's hard to tell because you have to do um, various experiments to prove the feasibility of the device and uh, then get uh, FDA approval and it also takes time to commercialize. But because the fundamental concept of our system is relatively simple and not uh, too far of a deviation from current medical practice, we hope it can happen pretty quickly.